most amazing owl species in the world. Long-eared owls are lanky owls that often seem to wear a surprised expression thanks to long ear tufts that typically point straight up like exclamation marks. These nocturnal hunters roost in dense foliage, where their camouflage makes them hard to find, and forage over grasslands for small mammals. The barn owl is a medium-sized raptor that is active at night. Raptors have strong grasping talons for killing prey and a hooked upper beak for tearing meat. The barn owl has a white heart-shaped face and white chest with small brown spots. The back is tawny, marked with black and white spots. Owls have round, forward-looking eyes, a sharply hooked beak, and acute hearing and vision. They are 5 to 28 inches, 13 to 70 centimeters, long. The feathers of some species form a disc framing the face or ear tufts that help locate prey by reflecting sound to the ears. Spectacled owls are characterized by white spectacles around their bright yellow eyes. They have dark brown plumage on their upper parts and off-white or light yellow plumage on their breast. They have a thin white stripe around the throat with a thick dark brown stripe below. Spectacled owls are unique owls, so named because of the white spectacles around their yellow eyes, highlighting their brown facial disc. The bill is cream-colored. A white stripe around the upper throat divides the color of the body, with the chest being dark brown. The Oriental Bay Owl is a small nocturnal bird, measuring 22 to 30 centimeters in length. It is short-winged and short-tailed. The ear tufts are short and project out from the sides of head. The facial disc is heart-shaped. The Oriental Bay Owl is typically found and distributed throughout Nepal, Sikkim, Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Burma and Thailand, east to South China, and south through the Malay Peninsula to the Greater Sundas. The eastern screech owl is a short, stocky bird, with a large head and almost no neck. Its wings are rounded, its tail is short and square. Pointed ear tufts are often raised, lending its head a distinctive silhouette. It is a small, nocturnal woodland owl with short ear tufts and yellow eyes. There is a grayish-brown, red and gray morph, with intermediates also occurring. The species name Asio is Latin for horned owl. Snowy owls are white birds with varying amounts of black or brown markings on the body and wings. On females this can be quite dense, giving the bird a salt and pepper look. Males tend to be paler and become whiter as they age. The eyes are yellow. A snowy owl is 4 feet, 7 inches in wingspan. They are large, white and round headed with yellow eyes and a black, short, strong and sharp bill. They are quite round-bodied, which helps them maintain their body heat, and they have thick plumage. Most birds have bare legs, but the snowy owl has feathers covering its legs and feet to further insulate it from the cold. With their bright orange eyes, mottled feathers, and ear tufts, Eurasian eagle owls are visually striking animals. Their large, powerful feet and strong flight make them effective hunters. Like many raptors, these owls are top predators, they hunt other animals for food but no animals hunt them on a regular basis. They are brown in color, with dark brown or black markings across their bodies. Their eyes are bright orange and quite noticeable. Like all members of the Bubo genus, they have long feather tufts on either side of their heads. It is a stocky, medium-sized owl, whose underparts are pale with dark streaks, and whose upper body may be either brown or gray. The tawny owl is an owl the size of a wood pigeon. It has a rounded body and head, with a ring of dark feathers around its face surrounding the dark eyes. Great gray owls are silvery gray overall, patterned with fine white, gray, and brown streaking and faint barring. Their yellow eyes shine through the fine gray and brown concentric circles of the facial disc. 
Two pale arcs form an X between the eyes. Across the neck sits a white bow tie marking with a black center. Owls have round, forward-looking eyes, a sharply hooked beak, and acute hearing and vision. They are 5 to 28 inches, 13 to 70 centimeters, long. The feathers of some species form a disc framing the face or ear tufts that help locate prey by reflecting sound to the ears. Great horned owls are mottled gray-brown, with reddish-brown faces and a neat white patch on the throat. Their overall color tone varies regionally from sooty to pale. Great horned owls are nocturnal. Great horned owls are large and thick-bodied with two prominent feathered tufts on their head. They are mottled gray-brown with a reddish-brown facial disc and large yellow eyes. The flight and tail feathers are distinctly barred dark and light. The throat is whitish and inflated when calling. Great horned owl's ears are actually simple holes in their heads underneath their feathers. 5. The owl's flight feathers have soft edges that allow it to fly silently and ambush prey. Northern pygmy owls are brown with fine white speckles on the head and white spots on the back. The back of the neck features two dark patches that look like eye spots. The eyes and bill are yellow. The northern pygmy owl is a tiny owl that grows no more than 7 inches in size and weighs only about 2 ounces. Individuals vary in color from brown to gray to rufous. The lower breast and belly are a creamy white covered with dark brown streaks. At 6 inches tall, the ferruginous pygmy owl is only about the size of an eastern bluebird. But this stocky little owl is a formidable predator, with outsized feet and talons that allow it to attack prey up to twice its size. It's named for rusty-colored plumage on its long, barred tail. Burrowing owls have a short, square tail, long, slender legs and yellow eyes. They lack ear tufts and have pale brown plumage, spotted and barred with white. Juveniles are not as heavily spotted as adults. Adults are brown birds mottled with sandy pale spots on the upper parts. The breast is spotted, grading to dark brown bars on the belly. Typical burrowing owl habitat is open, dry, sparsely vegetated land with available burrows, adequate food supply, and perches for horizontal visibility. Although these owls are capable of building their own burrows, they generally prefer burrows abandoned by ground squirrels and other small rodents. Burrowing owls in California are found mostly in grasslands and along irrigation banks adjacent to intensive agriculture in expansive grasslands. Northern pygmy owls are brown with fine white speckles on the head and white spots on the back. The back of the neck features two dark patches that look like eye spots. The eyes and bill are yellow. The northern pygmy owl is a tiny owl that grows no more than 7 inches in size and weighs only about 2 ounces. Individuals vary in color from brown to gray to rufous. The lower breast and belly are a creamy white covered with dark brown streaks. At 6 inches tall, the ferruginous pygmy owl is only about the size of an eastern bluebird. But this stocky little owl is a formidable predator, with outsized feet and talons that allow it to attack prey up to twice its size. It's named for rusty-colored plumage on its long, barred tail. The striped owl is a medium-sized owl with large ear tufts and a brownish-white facial disc rimmed with black. Its beak is black, and it has cinnamon-colored eyes. It has shorter, rounder wings than most of its close relatives. The upper parts are cinnamon with fine black vermiculation and heavy stripes. The underparts are pale tawny with dusky streaks. Fairly large, pale, eared owl with honey-colored eyes. Favors savannas and other open areas with scattered trees and bushes, such as cane fields and open plantations. Roosts in dense foliage or on the ground, but often hunts from roadside perches such as utility wires. Note the prominent ear tufts, rarely held flattened, whitish face rimmed with black, and whitish underparts with neat dark streaking. Compare with short-eared owl. Tawny fish owls have been described as the most attractive of the fish owls. They tend to be an orangey rufous color on the crown and upper parts, which are overlaid with broad, blackish markings on the central part of the feathers and spots of the same color as the reddish-brown feather edges.
Its habitat is riparian forest with large old trees for nest sites that is near lakes, rivers, springs, and shoals that do not freeze in winter. Henry Seabohm named this bird after the English naturalist Thomas Blackiston, who collected the original specimen in Hakodate on Hokkaido, Japan in 1883. The tawny owl is the most common of the five resident owl species in the UK and British Isles, with roughly 50,000 breeding pairs. Like the barn, short-eared and long-eared owls, it is a native species, unlike the little owl, which was introduced in the 1800s. The western screech owl is 7 to 10 inches in length and has squatty look. It has yellow eyes and may have gray or brown feathers with faint dark streaks on its lower body. Their feathers, like other owls, are soft and fluffy looking. The western screech owl can be found throughout most of western North America from southeast Alaska, through much of Canada, south to western Texas and Mexico. Its range continues into a large part of Central America. It is a resident of many of the countries in the region including Guatemala, Honduras, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. The spotted wood owl grows to a length of about 44 to 48 centimeters, 17 to 19 in, with a wing length of 30 to 36 centimeters, 12 to 14 in. The head is chocolate brown with an orangish buff facial disc and, in the nominate subspecies, a yellowish throat band, but there are no ear tufts. The facial disc is orange buff. Eyes are dark brown, bill is grayish to greenish black, and sear is greenish black. Large owl with an orange face and big inky black eyes. Adult is brown with extensive thin barring on the underparts. The spotted wood owl frequents the edges of evergreen forests and logged forests, plantations, wooded parks, orchards, and open forest. The boreal owl is 22 to 27 centimeters in length and has a wingspan of 50 to 62 centimeters. A female is heavier than a male bird and weighs 131 to 179 g, 4.6 to 6.3 ounces, compared with an average of 107 g, 3.8 ounces, for a male bird. Boreal owls occur in stands of spruce, aspen, poplar, birch, and fir in the vast boreal forest that stretches across much of northern North America and Eurasia. The diet of boreal owls consists of small mammals and birds, along with insects to some extent. Among mammals, 